OSF Holy Family Medical Center and St. Mary's is President Lisa DeKiesel. Good morning. Good morning, Vanessa. Also, we have Stephanie Hilton with us who's celebrating a new role at OSF. Hi, Stephanie. Hi. Most people remember you being on the air about Rotary, yeah. our Mammoth Rotary Club. Real quick, tell us about your new position. Yeah, so I'm the manager of community resources here for Holy Family, um, and that entails working with the auxiliary and the volunteers, and then also furthering the work for our community health needs assessment that we do every three years. So yes. really looking at those priorities and how we can improve health care for the community. Okay, wonderful. Thanks for being here this morning. All right, Lisa, we're excited because you're able to bring new providers to the area. Yes, very exciting. We really um, have had some very successful uh, recruitment activity um, we with the addition of Dr. Samuel Vasquez. Um, he's one of our new general surgeons and he um, adds to our general surgery team. He will be our fourth general surgeon that's serving uh, the Gelsberg Monmouth region. And uh, Dr. Vasquez, um, once we um, have him um, on board and settled, we'll be making his way over to Monmouth to help serve the Monmouth community. Um, and he's an excellent addition. So we're very, very excited about him. Um, we also have uh, Dr. Mwadame and Dr. El Sharud. Uh, they both are joining our, our region as well as family medicine obstetric providers. So um, adding more um, bandwidth and more support for our family medicine and obstetrics care uh, that we provide across the region. So they're all here. Uh, they're all living locally and uh, just super excited to be a part of our region and our OSF family to serve our communities. What do you think is the success story behind being able to recruit? Let's face it, it's hard to recruit doctors to Illinois and in rural areas. Sometimes it's based on income, sometimes, you know, because it's it, that's no different than my job or, mm -hmm. or anybody else's job or career, but it's the niceness of our community, the safety of the communities. Absolutely. You know, we it's a real joy uh, to recruit to the rural communities, especially here in Gelsberg and Monmouth. And, you know, what, what we've really found, I think, is the key to that is once we um, we identify the candidates that have that same love and passion for sharing for uh, or for caring for rural communities and, um, you know, really want that relational uh, medicine, uh, the experience of having relationships with their community, knowing their community, working with a family oriented environment within the organizations. Um, it's the culture they're looking for. It's the a sense of community. Um, they also, it's the model of care. Um, we've really done an excellent job across OSF Healthcare of really standing up what we refer to as our hub and spoke models of care. And what does that mean? It's really developing those networks of care across rural communities uh, where we hire into our, our um, regional hubs per se. Um, so if you think of St. Mary as that intermediate level facility, uh, serving patients up through that critical care level, uh, more complex surgery, um, progressive, um, you know, complex surgery. They have that experience and they're able to get recruited into a team where they're able to, to serve needs in that, at that level, but then also have the joy and the opportunity uh, to, to be deployed out to our critical access hospitals in our community, such as Holy Family. And so you have that synergy where they can be a part of a team uh, that really networks and they have multiple levels of care they're able to provide. They have all the resources um, available to them um, that are available via a system um, that's really wrapping uh, multiple levels of resources and specialties around their community. And that speaks to them. And when you think about obstetrics, uh, St. Mary Medical Center um, delivers about 700 um, little babies every year and, um, and really has a really wonderful community model of care. And uh, that's where we have OBGYN providers, we have family medicine OB providers, we have certified nurse midwives, and we call that a community model of obstetric care. And uh, it's a really, um, it's thriving. Um, we've, we're becoming very well known for that model and really becoming a model across the country for how to best serve obstetric care in rural communities. And, uh, and uh, so we're really proud of that program that's been built. And so that was also um, a very strong uh, recruitment tool as well when you think about uh, Dr. Mwadame and Dr. El Sharoud. Okay. Now, some very uh, important other news we want to share that is really important to the rural 
uh, locations again. And that I'll let you do the honors of explaining about what's coming soon to the uh, OSF St. Mary Medical Center campus in Galesburg. Yes, very, very excited as we begin our journey and launch into oncology services uh, here in our local region here. Um, we will be opening a radiation oncology clinic and services on the OSF St. Mary campus in Galesburg. And that is our first um, initial step into um, really the provision of more comprehensive oncology services for the region. And uh, that will begin, we will begin providing services in December. Um, of this year, and uh, construction is already underway um, to um, establish that um, on the campus in Gelsberg. But, you know, what's really important about that, Vanessa, is, you know, OSF is preparing to open our really state-of-the-art, um, very progressive OSF um, Healthcare Cancer Institute in Peoria in January. And when you think about the opportunity, um, just the passion for um, the discussion, you know, that started some time ago around, well, what does that look like for our rural communities? Uh, what does it look like to ensure access to that level of oncology services within the rural communities? Um, less travel um, time for patients who are, who are going through this journey, um, who are not feeling well, um, may maybe have transportation issues. Um, to be able to provide those radiation oncology services, which sometimes require, um, you know, four to five treatments a week, um, to be able to have that provided um, at a high quality, uh, very progressive equipment right here locally in their community, in their region, is, is just, um, it's, it's a game changer. And uh, so that is our first step into oncology services. Certainly more to come. Um, really the vision of a rural cancer hub um, extension of the Cancer Institute right here in the Galesburg Monmouth region is is something I'm passionate about and super excited. Well, thank you for doing this because mm -hmm. there are people who have to have four to five treatments per week and that trip to Peoria back and forth is very hard. The caretaker getting off of work, having to make those trips, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot. I don't mean to get a little bit choked up, but uh, people getting the care they need, the, the having back four to five hours a week for rest as opposed to having to drive mm -hmm. is, is still key and vital. Um, and access to, you know, the doctors right there in OSF St. Mary. So this is a big deal, big it deal is, for our community. It is a big deal. And this really will truly be an extension of the Cancer Institute out of Peoria. So when you think about best practice, progressive care, um, you know, we really, this will be, um, you know, connected to that level of care in every way. Um, our rural communities deserve that. They deserve that same um, commitment to best practice and, and the highest standards of care for oncology services. And so that's absolutely what it will be um, as we continue to grow the service line and really develop the full comprehensive cancer center. Uh, you think about all the support services also to wrap around our patients to support and them in their journey. What kind of investment is does something like this take? I mean, this has been a, several many years of strategic planning. Absolutely. So this has been, yeah, we've really been strategically planning this over the past few years um, with very intensive focus and the need to ensure um, that we secure um, those services for patients um, as we see changes within our community. Um, but also, I mean, it's, it's, it's a high-level investment um, in those services, the equipment, the, the facilities, uh, you know, all of the, the resources, the providers. Um, but it's an investment that we are all in on, and uh, we feel it's a priority for our community. Um, we've all been touched by cancer. Um, oh, you know, yeah. in, in many ways within our lives, um, you know, we, we all can, we can all tap into a story and experience, whether it's ourselves, our friends, a family member, and we know the struggle and we also know the amount of time and resources, um, you know, when you think about insuring and you want them to have access to the best care available. Yes. And that's what we intend to do. Every year at Relay for Life, when you do your luminaria, and each year your list gets bigger and yes. bigger. And yes. cancer sucks. It does. It, for, for real. And so anything we can do to make make the journey to surviving and beating cancer, I wish we could find a cure yes. for cancer. That's our main goal. Yes, it is. Um, let's talk about preventive care. Um, mm -hmm. It's important. Uh, you know, it, what's so nice is on Wednesdays, 
coming up here in October. Mm-hmm. It, it's year round, but we want to remind women in, in the month of October, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And uh, get your mammogram. You can roll over on your lunch break and get it done right there at OSF for the walk-in clinic. Absolutely. So OSF Holy Family, um, we do walk-in Wednesdays. And, um, you know, it. please put it on your calendar. Make it a priority. Um, you know, early detection, um, getting your screening mammograms, following up. Um, if you have any type of history, ensuring that you're getting your follow-up exams is pivotal. So um, October is absolutely Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, we welcome you to walk in. And, um, and if you certainly, if Wednesdays um, obviously are not, are not the day that works for you, please call us. We'd be happy to get you scheduled. Um, but please be sure that you're getting your, your screenings completed. And the earlier uh, we can detect, um, the, the better outcome for the patient. Um, and so we, we want to give a reminder. Thank you for that. And you have the 3D technology. That's also important. We do. So we, we absolutely have the most progressive equipment available. We have the 3D technology. So you can be assured um, you're getting that same level of exam here at Holy Family in Monmouth. Okay. And if you can't afford it, contact the Knox County Health Department. They have a program that is uh, assisting folks with uh, cervical and breast uh, uh, preventive uh, opportunities and it uh, they can help you with that. Yes, absolutely. We work That's very open to both counties, Warren and Hind- uh, and Knox. Correct, correct. Um, we work very closely with our local health departments. Uh, very great relationship with them. Um, we are in this together uh, to really um, you know support public health and all of the necessary screenings. And um, so please, yes, uh, contact them if there's and and certainly if there's any barriers, uh, we want to know how can we help. And so we work together on that. Okay. We're talking with Lisa DeKiesel, who is the president at OSF Healthcare, St. Mary Medical Center and Holy Family Medical Center. And Stephanie Hilton is also with us with Community Outreach. Big event this weekend. Yes. Speaking of partnerships and working with people in the community, um, United Way reached out to us and we are partnering together to provide a car seat safety um, event on our campus here at Holy Family this Saturday from 10 to 1. Um, We will have goodie bags full of lots of good information um, and some giveaways for anyone that comes through, as well as car seats available. So, you know, bottom line, um, Lynn Davis that works at United Way, this is really her brainchild. Um, So shout out to her for thinking of this idea. Um, But really, our bottom line is to make sure that everyone that comes through drives away with a safe car seat installed for their child. Um, So whether you pull up without a car seat, you pull up with an expired car seat or a damaged car seat, we will have car seats available, um, excuse me, as well as um, certified technicians. So they will make sure that it is properly installed, show you how to properly install it. So if you need to move it to another vehicle, we're really excited about this opportunity. Um, OSF Children's Hospital Um, provided the funding for those car seats that we will have available so we just don't want anyone to be afraid to pull up if you don't even have a car seat that's perfectly fine you won't be in trouble we just want to make sure that all of our children in our community are safe on the road as well as adults wear your seatbelt absolutely and also there will be a harvest hustle 5k one mile run walk that's on saturday september 30th at 5 30 p.m. Where is that? Yeah, that's at Galesburg High School okay. um, at GHS, and that is um, actually completely organized by a third party group called Give Back Galesburg. They've established, and all the proceeds for that will go back into the Klein Pediatric Wellness Center. Right now, they're putting in another Fitbit over there at that school district, and so that's what that money will help provide. We're really excited about that. Um, it'll be a fun opportunity. We have combines coming in for kids to, you know, touch and climb on. And there's a lot of fun family activities as well as the, the fitness aspect of the 5K okay. um, part. All right. Good update today, ladies. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for coming thank in. You. Thank you for, for having, having us. us. All right. Lisa DeKiesel and Stephanie Hilton with us from OSF.